Think that's enough bait, Scott? If we don't catch them with that, then we're not catching dinner tonight. So a lot of times you'll see, Scott, that the most important thing when I get out there is to get that bag in the water. I, a lot of times that bag's going in the water before the anchor's even pulled out. I want the chum in the water, I want the fish to know we're there, and start circling around and then get ready to anchor. I thought I knew how to chum until I started fishing down here. You know, you leave the middle keys with six blocks and you're good for the day. We go with six 25 pound blocks and you're just, and you're kind of light down here. Yeah, you can use more. It's all, the, the, the most chum wins down here for sure. Ah, it's a good sign to see those chubs, Scotty. That means that somebody's been yellowtailing here, there's chum been in the water. The yellowtail and the chub seem to always be around each other. I hope they're not too smart, my man. And I hope they bite this 25. That would be nice. All right. Ah, we'll take that. Got one on the 25. Yeah. Yellow tail. All right. Picking up. A lot of times I try not to throw the live bait out right away. I want to get the yellowtail to the boat, get them on the bag, or, you know, a close enough to where they're feeding on the, the dead chum. And then once that's established, we'll start flicking a little bit of live bait out there, just not to send them off chasing it right away. Yeah, not a big scoop, just to trickle them out there. Four, four to get them started, and then one, one, onesies, twosies, so they don't get uh, chasing them down 100 yards away from the boat, for sure. And then when they make that move, <laughs> and they start jumping out of the water eating them, Time to get busy. That is uh, quite a bite. No time for ice. They're biting. Uh, it might have been a blue runner. <laughs> no Good drag job. pullers, though, buddy. Not yet. We just got here. No drag pullers. Pretty color. Get that peach on it. Any fishing pole you have in your box can catch yellowtail. You know, we, uh, we're lucky to have some really, really good stuff the best Shimano makes, but still, we go small. You know, instead of using the big 10, 20,000s anymore, now we're down to the five, six, and 8,000 model reels. And you just gotta get a little bit of braid on there for backing. And then, depending on the water quality, you're, you're going to use fluorocarbon to trick them. You know, a lot of times people ask, why do you got to reel so hard? <laughs> What's I wanna, the rush? I want to relax. You can't sit back and enjoy these things because not only do they taste good to you, they taste good to the sharks, the amberjacks, the king mackerel, and everything else. When you can use 20 pounds, you know it's going to be a great day. But many a day we have to back down to 17, 15, 12. And then I would say when you go to 10, you're pretty much not going to be catching anymore. You'll get the bites, but they're just too, too strong. I mean, we've shown you the tail. The yellow tail tail is a powerful tail. That's why I call them flags. And when you get down to that 10 and 12 pound test, they can actually motor you down to the rocks. You think they're getting eaten, but they're actually just so powerful, they move, move you right back down. But, you know, a nice seven foot rod with a, a 20 pound outfit with a little bit of fluorocarbon and a small hook you can buy, and you're fishing for yellow tails. Keep working them. Went back to the old yellowtail pole. Imagine how good you do if I gave you the side with a chum bag. I'm casting over your side. <laughs> you know I am. Keep catching these all day long. Oh, beautiful thing. Obviously, catching the bait is cool because it, it's a funner way to catch yellowtail. They're jumping. They're more, you can see them busting on the bait. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot funner action, but there's multiple ways to catch them. But also, what I saw was that yellowtail bite was kind of slow, they were a little smart, so, which, you know, I didn't want to fish with you because it would slow the bite down even more. I just kind of played on the bottom. Hoping yeah, you just every time there was two lines in the water, they went away. Yes. Immediately. All right, so he's hooked up. <laughs> 40 pound leader. There's not a lot of drag. Slowly cooperating. What is it? Giant yellowtail. 
Coming to the surface. Cobia. A baby cobia. Can it be? Is it? Is it? <laughs> is it a baby cobia? And yes, that's what it is. It's a cobia. We called it, baby. That, that little turtle gets sent him to us. You know what that means? Shark. There's a, there's a shark down there. Cobia. I don't think he's going to make 32 inches. No. You got to give him another year. Cool little cobia. I'm going to let him go. Catch him when he's 36 inches to the fourth. I'll tell you what, though, I was, I really appreciate being able to buy bait and then actually just catch yellow tails with live bait instead of going through all the mess of uh, having to make the slop and all. They had a big school there, happily eating our uh, live baits, which is a lot easier for me, a lot easier for you. And I, and you, you know, you kind of pretty much just let me yellow tail and you just kept working the bottom. Cobia! Oh, I see a shark. Look at the shark. <laughs> what are you chasing? What are you looking at the shark? Oh, yeah. Nice shark. Two sharks. They're happy to bite when the shark was chasing your cobia. We see a lot of little cobias this time of year, and a lot of that is due to the sharks, right? These yeah. cobia are living with those sharks. <laughs> Go get him, Cap! Coming in hot. <laughs> he said hello. Blue runner. Cobia. A jumping Cobia. Cobia! Looks like the same one. No, nah, this one's tails, okay? Yeah. Hey, Sean! Oh, he's pointing there. You're so good. No shark for you. Going in a box, baby. Needs to be about 24 inches longer. <laughs> I might have woke up the shark, so get ready. <laughs> this one bit the end of my drift. Not a big boy. Come on, Mr. Yellowtail. Oh, he's, there we go. So, you know, the general uh, anatomy or design of that Yellowtail, he's a reef uh, fish. It's a snapper. Um, you know, they got small teeth, but they'll forage on shrimp, crabs, you know, live minnows. Uh, they'll, they'll pretty much eat anything that's out there on the reef. Uh, long, slender body, got a big fork tail. Uh, they're, they're really, really neat fish, and they are so tasty. We got a half a limit there, Steve. Ten more to go, buddy. I'm actually amazed at how aggressive they really are. You know, being in the tower lot, and you come up on bait balls all over time, you're always expecting to see a sailfish or something pelagic. And then all of a sudden there's a pack of yellowtails just wearing out glass minnows. And they're, they're, they're moving them just like a pack animal. They, they, I, mean, they, I mean, they seem small and dainty, but they're as aggressive as anything out there. And uh, they eat good and they, you can tell that they taste good. Oh, shark. Oh. Get on him, get on him, get on him, get on him. He's jumping out of the water back there under the seagull. That one is way back. Number 12? Uh, way back. Way back? <laughs> Any size? No, he's not going to be a drag puller, but he's going to go in my deep fryer. Whole fried yellowtail, baby. Oh! I've gotta get my